In this episode, we will be discussing the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research or CSIR in the following structure. First, we will discuss the introduction of CSIR, then organizational structure, followed by objective of CSIR, vision and strategy, awards of CSIR, global recognition of CSIR, important labs under CSIR, and finally, we will end with some of the key achievements of CSIR. Let's begin with a brief introduction. CSIR is an acronym of Council of Scientific and Industrial Research. It is the largest research and development organization in India. It was established in September 1942 and has its headquarters in Delhi, India. It has a pan-India presence and has a dynamic network of 38 national laboratories, 39 outreach centers, 3 innovation complexes and 5 units. CSIR is funded by the Ministry of Science and Technology and operates as an autonomous body through the Society's Registration Act of 1860. CSIR covers a wide spectrum of streams from radio and space physics, oceanography, geophysics, chemicals, drugs, genomics, biotechnology and nanotechnology to mining, aeronautics, instrumentation, environmental engineering and information technology. CSIR provides significant technological intervention in many areas with regard to societal efforts which include the environment, health, drinking water, food, housing, energy, farm and non-farm sectors. Now, looking at its organizational structure. The Prime Minister of India is the ex officio president and the Union Minister of Science and Technology is the ex officio vice president of the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research. If we look at its governing body, the Director General is the head of the governing body the other ex officio members are the Finance Secretary of Expenditures. The CSIR Advisory Board is a 15-member body composed of prominent members from respective fields of science and technology. Its function is to provide science and technology inputs to the governing body. Its members' terms are of three years. Now, let us focus on the objective of CSIR. The objectives of the Council are scientific and industrial and applied research of national importance. The activities under it include promotion, guidance and coordination of scientific and industrial research in India including the institution and the financing of specific researches. Establishment and assistance to special institutions or departments of existing institutions for the scientific study of problems affecting particular industries and trade. Establishment and award of research studentships and fellowships. Utilization of the results of the research conducted under the auspices of the Council towards the development of industries in the country. Payment of a share of royalties arising out of the development of the results of research to those who are considered as having contributed towards the pursuit of such research. Establishment maintenance and management of laboratories, workshops, institutes and organizations to further scientific and industrial research. Collection and dissemination of information in regard not only to research but to industrial matters generally. Publication of scientific papers and a journal of industrial research and development. The vision of CSIR is to pursue science that strives for global impact. The technology that enables innovation-driven industry and nurtures transdisciplinary leadership, thereby catalyzing inclusive economic development for the people of India. Let us look at some of the awards of CSIR. Shanti Swarup Bhatnagar Prize for Science and Technology is named after the Founder Director of CSIR, the late Dr. Shanti Swarup Bhatnagar. 
It was instituted in 1957 as the most coveted and revered prize in the field of science and technology in the country. Dr. Shanti Swarup Bhatnagar was also the first chairman of the University Grants Commission. He was conferred with the Order of the British Empire. He was knighted in 1941 and elected Fellow of the Royal Society of London in 1943. He was also awarded the Padma Vibhushan in 1954. Now let us discuss the global recognition of CSIR. According to Shimago Institution's rankings, CSIR is recognized to be among the international leaders in the knowledge creation. It has been ranked 37th in the world amongst the government institutions in the world according to the prestigious Shimago Institution's ranking of 2021. In terms of intellectual property, CSIR is a leader in terms of filing and securing patents worldwide amongst its peers in publicly funded research organizations in the world. CSIR is granted 90% of the US patents to any publicly funded Indian R&D organization. On an average, CSIR files about 200 Indian patents and 250 foreign patents per year. About 13.86% of CSIR patents are licensed, a number which is above the global average. Some of the important labs under CSIR are as follows. Institute of Genomics and Integrative Biology situated in New Delhi. Institute of Microbial Technology situated in Chandigarh. Central Leather Research Institute situated in Chennai. Central Drug Research Institute situated in Lucknow. Indian Institute of Petroleum situated in Dehradun and the National Aerospace Laboratories situated in Bengaluru. We will be ending today's episode with key achievements of CSIR. And there are many key achievements of CSIR, for example, in the field of strategic sector. Drishti Transmission Meter is an indigenous, innovative and cost-effective visibility measuring system that provides information to pilots on visibility for safe landing and takeoff precautions and is suitable for all airport categories. CSIR National Aerospace Laboratories made a significant contribution by developing indigenous head-up display for Indian light combat aircraft Tejas. In the field of energy and environment, Central Mechanical Engineering Research Institute Lab in Durgapur designed the solar tree which occupies a minimum space to provide clean power. The Central Electrochemical Research Institute in Karaikudi, Tamil Nadu has set up the first indigenous Li-ion fabrication facility that has applications in defense, solar power devices, railways and other high-end usages. In the field of agriculture, CSIR in collaboration with ICAR developed an improved bacterial blight resistant Samba Mashuri variety. Rice cultivar Muktashri, a rice variety has been developed which restricts assimilation of arsenic within the permissible limit. In the field of healthcare, a program called Genomics and other omics technologies for enabling medical decision has been developed by the CSIR which provides a platform of disease genomics to solve clinical problems. Vaccine is developed and commercialized for Jones disease affecting sheep, goat, cow and buffalo so as to immunize them and increase milk and meat production. Plasma gelsolin diagnostic kit for premature births and sepsis related deaths is developed to diagnose premature birth and sepsis. In the field of food and nutrition, double fortified salt with iodine and iron having improved properties developed and tested for addressing anemia in people. Shear scanner, a new technological invention by CSIR Central Electronics 
Engineering Research Institute to detect the level of milk adulteration and adulterants in 45 seconds at the cost of 10 pice, thereby putting adulterators in the milk trade on notice. In the field of water, Heliborn transient electromagnetic and surface magnetic technique based aquifer mapping carried out in six different geological locations in Rajasthan, Bihar, Karnataka, Maharashtra and Tamil Nadu. In the field of waste to wealth, Non-toxic radiation shielding materials utilizing industrial waste like red mud from aluminium industries and fly ash from thermal power plants developed which has been accredited by Atomic Energy Regulatory Board for application in diagnostic X-ray rooms. In the field of traditional knowledge digital library, CSIR has established the first ever traditional knowledge digital library in the world. It is accessible in five international languages. English, German, French, Japanese, and Spanish. In the field of genome sequencing, CSIR has completed the sequencing of the human genome in 2009. That's all for today. We'll meet you in the next video. Till then, stay tuned and stay updated. To watch our videos in Hindi, subscribe to our Hindi YouTube channel, Drishti IAS.